Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Let us start English. Today we are going to study 20 words uh, with the story Archie and his donkey. Archie and his donkey. The first word we are going to study is advice. Advice has two syllables. Advice. Excellent. The second syllable. Advice is a noun. Advice is an opinion about what to do. I don't know how to study for my exams. Can you give me some advice? Advice. Next one, along. Along has two syllables, A, L, O, N, G. Actually, on the second syllable, O sounds like A, uh, along. It's a preposition. Along means to move from one part of a road, river, etc. to another. Walk along this tunnel for 10 minutes and you will see a door on the left. Along. Next one, attention. Attention has three syllables. A-T-T-E-N-T-I-O-N. Action the second syllable. There are two T's. And cancel the first T and say attention. Attention is a noun. Attention is the notice, thought, or consideration of someone. His work got the attention of two of his co-workers. Attention. Next one, attract. Attract has two syllables, A-T, T-R-A-C-T, and there are two T's and cancel the first T and say a. Uh, and next to the second syllable, track, a track. A track is a verb. To attract means to make a person or thing come closer or be interested. The magnet attracted the metal. Attract, attract. Next word, climb. Climb, even though there is a B, B is silent. Just so say climb. Climb is a verb. To climb means to use your hands and feet to go up on something. The girls climb to the top of the mountain. Climb. Next one, drop. D-R-O-P. And when D comes before R, it sounds like J. And then O sounds like A. You say drop. Drop is a verb. To drop is to fall or allow something to fall. A small amount of water dropped from the bottle. Drop. Drop. Next one, final. Final has two syllables, F-I-N-A-L. Final, except on the first syllable, final. It's an adjective. If something is final, it is the last part. In the final part of the film, the man and the woman got married. Final. Next one, further. Further has two syllables, F-U-R-T-H-E-R, except on the first syllable, fur. Further. Further is an adjective. Further is used to say something is from a distance or time. The escalator is further along than I thought. Further. Next one, imply. Imply has two syllables, I-M-P-L-Y. Actually, on the second syllable, imply. Imply is a verb. To imply something is to suggest, to suggest it without saying it. The man implied that he wanted the job, but he didn't say so. Imply. The next one, maintain. Maintain is two syllables. Main and tain. Actually, on the second syllable, maintain. Maintain is a verb. To maintain means to make something stay the same. The balls maintain constant movement. Maintain. Maintain. Next word. Actually, this word has two sounds. First one, neither or neither. 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 It has two syllables, N-E-I. 
T-H-E-R, action on the first syllable, neither or neither is an adverb. You use neither or neither to connect to negative statements. Neither the path on the left nor the path on the right will lead us home. Neither nor. Next one, otherwise. Otherwise, it is three syllables, O, T, H, other, and then E, R, otherwise. Otherwise, it's an adverb, except on the first syllable, otherwise. Otherwise means different or in another way. It's good to say active, otherwise you will gain weight. It's good to stay active, otherwise you will gain weight. Next word, feet, e, call, physical. Physical has three syllables, p, h, y, z, i, c, a, l, feet, e, call. Actually, on the first syllable, physical, physical is an adjective. If something is physical, it is related to your body and not your mind. Biking is good for your physical health. Physical. Next one, prove. Prove is a verb. To prove something is to show that it is true. My teacher proved the answer on the board. Prove. Next one, react. React has two syllables, R-E-A-C-T, accent on the second syllable. Re, this is prefix, usually prefixes don't have accent. So react is a verb. To react is to act in a certain way because of something that happened. James reacted badly to the news. James reacted badly to the news. React. Next one, write. Write is a verb. To write something is to travel on it. You can ride an animal, a bike, etc. And some people are riding a roller coaster. Ride. I will ride a roller coaster for the first time today. Ride. Next word, sit, u, aided, situated, it has four syllables, S, I, T, and then U, and this T, U sounds like CH, so situ, and then A, TED, I'm sorry, T, E, D, but vowel, vowel, it flaps, situated, situated, actually on the first syllable, situated is an adjective, if something is situated somewhere, it is in that place. The white, a whiteboard is situated between the two men. The whiteboard is situated between the two men, situated. The next one, society. Society has four syllables, S-O-C-I-E-T-Y, except the second syllable, and then society, and then vowel, vowel, so it flaps, society, society. Society is people and the way that they live. Society expects people to be good and honest. Society, society. Next word, standard. Standard has two syllables, S-T-A-N-D-A-R-D, -A -A standard. Excellent on the first syllable, standard. Standard is a noun. A standard is what people consider normal or good. This older model TV is below our store standards. Next one, suggest. Suggest has two syllables, S-U-G-G-E-S-T. Excellent, the second syllable, and then first G is canceled. Suggest. Suggest is a verb. To suggest something means to give an idea or plan about it. He suggested that we go to see his boss. Suggest. Suggest. Okay, now choose the right word for the given definition. Number one, to keep something going. 
to keep something going, maintain, react, standard, prove, the answer is maintain. Number two, not this one or that one. Not this one or that one, neither or neither, further, along, situated, answer is A, neither. Number three, people and how they act. People and how they act. Otherwise, society, advice, climb. So the answer is going to be B, society. Number four, this uh, describing the body. The body, final, drop, physical, attention. Answer is C, physical. Number five, to make someone interested, imply, suggest, attract, write. The answer is C, attract. Write a word that is similar in meaning to the underlined part. How did Claire act when you told her about the party? So it is react. You say something to her, she react, R E. A, C, T, react. In this group of people, wearing hats is common. A group of people is going to be society, S, O, C, I, E, T, Y, society. I invited Jane and Lisa to my house, but not Jane or Lisa could have come. They both couldn't come, so neither of them, neither of them, N-E-I-T-H-E-R. I've nearly finished the book. I am on the last page. The last is final. F-I-N-A-L. I can jump higher than you. Watch me. And I will show you that I can do it. You show that you can do it. You prove it. P-R-O-V-E. Prove. Now choose the word that is better fit for each sentence. We have suggest and advice. Can I give you some advice, right? A D V I C E. I suggest that you do uh, your homework before you go out. Suggest. G G E S T. Number two, situated and attention. I got everyone's attention. A-T-T-E-N-T-I-O-N with my new dress. Where is your office situated? Located. S-I-T-U-A-T-E-D in the building. Number three, dropped. Standard. The blank of this work is very high. Standard. We need a noun. Standard of this work is very high. I accidentally blanked my phone in the snow. You dropped it. D-R-O-P-P-E-D. I accidentally dropped my phone in the snow. Number four, attracted, reacted. Attracted and reacted. He blanked my attention, my attention. So he attracted. He attracted my attention by waving to me. She badly to the news. She reacted. She reacted badly to the news. Number five, further along. How much blank is the beach? I am tired. How much further? Further is the beach. I'm tired. We walked along the path for two hours. We walked along the path for two hours. Now check the one that suits the blank naturally. She was angry when he implied that she was not smart. Or she was angry when he proved that she was right. So it's going to be A. She was angry when he implied that she was not smart. Number two, if you want to win the race, you need to be in good physical condition, possible. You need to drop off all the all your extra work. No, that's not right. 
So answer is going to be A. If you want to win or in, win the race, you need to be in good physical condition. Number three, he said that I should play sport. So I, he said that I should play a sport. So I gave him my advice or so I suggested playing football. Okay. So I suggested playing football. I'm sorry. B here. The sound of the car's horn got everyone's attention. Sounds good. The sound of the car's horn is situated next to the bus stop. It's not good. So A is the answer. The sound of the car's horn got everyone's attention. Number five, we are nearly at Jack's house. It's much further down the road. Nearly, it's not much further. He lives along this road. Okay, B is the right answer. We are nearly at Jack's house. He lives along this road. Now let us read the story. Archie and his donkey. Old Archie needed some money. He decided to sell his donkey. So he and his son Tom went to a town. It was situated many miles away. Soon they met a woman. Where are you going? She asked. To a town, said Archie. Any smart person would ride a donkey, she said. What are you implying? Archie asked. I'm very smart. Archie wanted to look smart, so he climbed onto the donkey. Then they continued in the direction of the town. Further along the road, they met a farmer. Hello, said Archie. We want to sell this donkey. Do you want to buy it? I don't need a donkey, said the farmer, but if you want my advice, don't ride it. The donkey needs to be in good physical condition. Good idea, said Archie. Tom, I want you to ride it. You're lighter. Neither you nor your son should ride it. It's very tired. You should carry the donkey, suggested the farmer. You're right, said Archie. Come on, Tom. We'll carry it for the final few miles. The donkey was very heavy, and they couldn't maintain a good speed. They didn't arrive until late in the evening. At last, they walked into the town, but there they attracted the attention of some teenage boys. They laughed at Tom and Archie. They started to throw stones at them. The donkey reacted by kicking. Tom and Archie dropped the donkey. He fell on the ground and then ran away. Archie lost his donkey. He went home with no money. What does this story teach us? We cannot please everyone in our society. Don't take everyone's advice, but set your own standards. Prove to everyone that you can make decisions by yourself. Otherwise, you may end up with nothing at all. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I will come back to you with another 20 words as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.